passionate about music. I'm so excited about my guest tonight. It's Misha B. Hello, Misha. Why, hello there. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Good, good. I'm really well. Now, you've been here before. You've been to Gator because you came in to see Neil and Debbie on The Breakfast Show. I did, and it was one of the best interviews, and especially early morning interviews I've had. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not normally awake at that time, but obviously you were, and you had yeah. fun uh, with mm-hmm. Neil and Debbie. Um, I'm sure they'd be very pleased to hear that. Yes. Hey, Neil and Debbie, if you're listening. Oh. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, we've got to talk about the tour, because this is very exciting as well. you just come off tour with Nicki Minaj. That's right. How amazing. And she personally selected you as well. Yeah, it's 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 mind-blowing when I stop and think about the whole thing. And yeah. it, it ended t- two days ago, yeah. two, three days ago. So how was it? One of the, the best experiences of my life. Everything about it was crazy good. <laughs> and you had a great reaction as well? Yeah, going... Crowd? Going out each night, the energy was just skyrocketing. I felt like it was a party every night. Fantastic. And what about Nikki as well? Did you get to meet her properly? Yeah, she was really, really cool and really supportive. Gave me a few words of encouragement as well. Excellent. Uh, And she's not the only famous fan because you've got many. Um, Missy Elliott, one of those, which is somebody who, well, people compare you to as well. Yeah, I, I love Missy Elliott. I look up to her a lot, and to have su- have to support from somebody that I admire, you, I can't really ask for anything greater than that. How does it feel when you've got all these fantastic? I mean, it's not just famous people, but they're they're great people as well, aren't they? They're really yeah. talented, talented artists. How does it feel when they tell you that they support your work and they love you? It really does motivate me to continue doing what I'm doing, and it inspires me to keep driving my music. Yeah. Brilliant. Music but, speaks. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's got speaks volumes. I think. Um, mm-hmm. We've got to talk about Home Run because I think this was a very feisty debut single. Oh. Um, with a video that shows that you are totally owning that dance routine as well. <laughs> you work it, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how was that for you? Because obviously it, it's important to release a debut single that packs a punch, which that did. Yeah, do you know, when I, because uh, Home Run, that was the first track I went into the studio and fully sat down and wrote and recorded with um, a producer called m and We didn't know that it was a single, but out of all the songs that were recorded at the time and um, we sat together and wrote, that was the one that kind of represented me well. Yeah, and, and, and the mixes were great as well, weren't they? Because yeah, we played uh, the Cat Crazy one, which is excellent. Shout out to Cat Crazy, because yeah. he is a boss. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Cat Crazy, play a lot of his stuff. Um, X Factor, obviously we've got to talk about this, because this was yep. the show that you you were featured on. You came fourth, which I is did. pretty good. I've got to say, though, I think sometimes, a lot of the time with, with X Factor and a lot of these talent shows, it's usually the people that don't win it that are usually either better or more successful. Would you agree with that? I hear what you're saying, but I um, I will say like winners like Leona Lewis. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Little Mix. They will. They go on to do well because there's not really anybody out there like them. But it's not always about the winning, though, is it? It's not. It's about the taking part. It is. The overall race. (laughs) (laughs) So how intense was it to appear on the show? Because it must have been pretty crazy over the, the the weeks that you were on it. Crazy is an understatement. Week in, week out. Imagine pressure performing each night with a new song, with the pressure of competing, times 10. So what were the highs? And I would imagine there would be many of being on the X Factor. Working with Kelly Rowland, having her as my big sister and slash mentor. Yeah, how amazing is that? One, like... this is what I mean. This that's why I love Alibu forever. Be grateful for the X Factor for giving me the platform, introducing me to so many great people like Kelly Rowland. Did you get to know her quite well as well? I, I met her once, and she was she was beautiful. She's sweet, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's great. And what about the lows? Were there many lows? Yeah, there were there were a few few lows. Um, I remember having the whole controversy um, surrounding a few comments that the judges made. Yeah, but. Regardless of that, that I feel like my music has spoken, and that is just one learning curve for me that I'm, I've overcome. And you need le- lessons and um, 
what they call obstacles like that to learn from. And yeah, grow. it makes you stronger. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you, you know, you mentioned obviously <coughs> Talisa and Talisa and Louis did make those comments, but yeah. Gary Barlow stood up for you. He defended yeah, you, he didn't did, he? Did and I love Gary nice. for that. Yeah. Now you were raised in Manchester, Moss Side in Manchester. Yep. Uh, yeah, big up for Manchester. <laughs> yes. Uh, we we're there every year for for Manchester Pride. I know that you were as well because you yeah. were um, on the main stage for the final day. Yes, I um, was. How, how did that go? Because we we went there because I, I was there for the I think it was for the Friday and Saturday, and then I think we were there on the Monday. Was it the Monday? That was the last day. Sunday. Yeah, I was on the Sunday. On Sunday night. Yeah. So uh, was that a great performance for you? Did you enjoy it? Every time I go to um, Manchester Gay Pride. You cannot, you cannot enjoy yourself. It is, you cannot go there and not enjoy yourself. It's fantastic, it's, isn't it? It's a great atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere is crazy because everybody just wants to go out and have fun. Yeah. Everybody's striving for happiness, and I love that they really do embrace me, and, and I try my best to embrace them. I, I love this quote, and I don't know whether it's true or not, but you were uh, apparently quoted as saying, it was just me, my voice, my heels, and my audience. Yes, that's exactly what I said. That's how it felt. <laughs> that, that sums up your Manchester Pride <laughs> performance. <Yeah. laughs> Did you end up going drinking down Canal Street as well afterwards? I had a gig. I had to travel straight over to Sheffield. Oh. Oh no! But it's you've true. presumably been down there already because you come Always. from Manchester. Yeah. yeah. Always. I love a party on Canal Street. <laughs> 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 now we got to talk about the album because you have you finished the album now? We're almost finished. I would say we're three quarters of the way through. I go out to LA next week to finish it off. That's the place to go to finish an album, though, isn't it? To yeah. LA. Yeah. Do you know I've never been there before, so I'm really, really looking forward to oh, it. Oh my goodness me! You're gonna love it, Michelle. Oh. Absolutely gonna love it. I want to get back there as well. And the new single, which we playlisted, which we love. Um, oh, thank you, guys. Do you guys. think of me? Um, which you co-wrote, actually, that single as well. Yep, that's true. At, at, before you go on, I just want to say thank you for your support. Because even since Home Run, you guys have really been supporting me. And oh. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Because we love, we love your stuff. It is yeah. quite a poignant track, the new one, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Tell us about it. Tell us about the, the meaning of the song. So, do you think of me as basically about missing somebody and wondering if they're missing you. Um, I.e., I've just moved from Manchester to London. I missed home. I miss home all the time. So, like, coming back now, it's like, honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mommy, I'm home. <laughs> is, it, is it about your mum as well, part of it about your mum? Yeah, my birth mum. Yeah. Yeah. And um, just touching on how things have affected me and just... Not not just my mum because there's people that I, i.e. like my ex and um, he's no longer in my life no more and I find myself um, looking back at old pictures and like even like say we fell out or even with any of my friends I fell out with them I'd text them and be waiting for a text back or I'd call them and hoping that they'll be calling me back and I'd be looking at my phone and then somebody else rings and it's not them it's like oh. Yeah. <laughs> And it's looking good in the midweeks. It looks like it's going to be a big hit for you at the weekend. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Keep oh, buying yes. it. Keep buying oh, it. Oh, we will. We will. Mm-hmm. Listen, Misha, it's lovely to chat to you. You too. And we wish you all the best with the single and the album when it comes out. You'll have to come back when the album's released. Definitely. And come Thank and see you. us. Good to chat to you. You too. Take right, care now. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Passionate about music.